Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangeloso and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time we'll start talking about uh, FilmFX 3.0, uh, the new version, and I'd like to uh, prepare a little sneak peek about a new feature, and I'm talking about the Render Warps. The Render Warps is a really useful uh, feature that gives us the possibility to use a space warp to uh, change the shape, to control the shape of our simulation uh, after the simulation is done. So, let's create a simple uh, scene using a film effects. Let's use this one. Okay. And I rotate it. Let's imagine that we have a uh, a flame created there inside something like an engine and uh, I need an emitter uh, we can go inside the film effects and let's use the simple source let's say that it is there Let's rotate by 180 degree and let's change the parameters. Okay, so that's uh, the basic setup. Uh, then we have to go inside there and uh, we'll use also another new feature, and I'm talking about the new preview real-time preview we have there and uh, let's select the the source sorry okay that's our source and uh, I like also to have a collision with this one and that's a solid okay about the simulation I'd like just to have the fuel. Let's go inside the object and there in the object source. Let's say that it is maybe 0 0.5. Let's see. You see that we have this flame. There is a lot of power. Uh, so let's go with less power, let's say 1. Maybe a little bit more, 0, zero 2. Okay, so that's our flame. If we go inside the render and we select uh, another color, more like an energy color, and then we can go to have something like that just to see, you see that the preview now is in real time and that's really another interesting feature we have there inside the new version so now I like I moved this panel on the other monitor let's go to have some space warps deformation and let's go for an NFFD something like that and let's go to scale you see I, I'm doing a uh, some changes to the shape to change the shape of the flame uh, let's close and let's say that we see just the points so now we can go inside the film effects panel and I can select the FFT and you see that we have the changes there 
in real time. So that's a really interesting thing. Uh, you see I can also select this one and let's scale it. You see I'm moving the points then back there. And you see that we have the flame longer. And again, if I go there and I select all these points and I scale it and then back in film effects you see that we have the flame changing again shape and that's really really interesting because you see we are doing the shape as we need just using this feature and that's really useful uh, obviously we have some uh, deformation uh, there but you know uh, we can have more sampling or less sampling for example if I go for 5 and 10 we'll have less sampling and you see that the quality is really really low we can try to have a really high sampling and you see that the quality is really high you have also to remember that we have a really poor uh, quality inside the um, the generation there for the spacing so we can try to make a test using a lower scale like this one let's render let's calculate sorry and this will be really useful because we are working on the annual alien planet mission and we'll have to prepare uh, some effects for the scene and we'll, sure, uh, we'll use for sure film effects 3.0 and we'll use for sure also some feature like this one okay we are ready with a full simulation and you see that's the result with the deformation obviously if we change uh, the shape there let's imagine that we go there and we'll scale there again more and more then there maybe just like that and there like this one and the last part will be something like a really teeny point. Let's close the point selection back there and you see that the shape is changed again and that's really useful to simulate an engine so you see it will be really really simple to create more uh, interesting look for how our flames just using the effector. So let's close this one, let's go back there and I like to show so you see we have the map also inside the viewport I changed the uh, three souls and also the reduce so we have it there let's open again the panel so we are there inside the render warps okay so uh, it was really simple but we started to see some new feature coming from uh, the new version of FilmFX and we'll see more in coming, in coming tutorial and in coming uh, tip tutorial. So for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye!